an outpouring of support tonight in response to the death of one of St. Paul's most famous citizens. He was known as Bones, and he died at the age of 71. He was a homeless Vietnam vet who called Rice Street home. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, he was loved by everyone who knew him. For most people in St. Paul's North End, Rice Street is the way they get to or from home. For him, the street was his home. Oh, he was, he was Bones. That's it, Bones was a good guy. And everybody, everyone here knew him, everyone. Bones, whose real name was Mike, lived on Rice Street for more than 40 years. So I probably knew him since 1970 and he never asked anyone for a dime, ever. On a few extremely cold nights, he agreed to spend the night on the floor at Dar's Double Dip. And I was pretty blessed that he, he, he liked strawberry shakes because then I got to be one of his buddies. Kevin Barrett, another Rice Street business owner, shared food with Bones, and he shared a laugh. One day he comes and he goes, you know, Kev, I'm going to move down south. And I go, really, Mike? Where? He goes, I think I'm going to move down to University Avenue, which is about a half mile down the street. <laughs> and I just started laughing and laughing. Bones would rarely take help, but he often gave it. In the summertime, always we saw him cleaning the streets, both side and side, and he's a very nice person. Locals say he would spend hours meticulously grooming the sidewalks. It seems the man who had the least to give, gave the most. He was a rock star. He was the Rice Street rock star. He really was. Special. He was special. You got it. Case closed. So now local business owners hoping to raise money. They want to have a bench here in Bones Honor. It will, of course, they tell me, be located along Rice Street. In St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Bradshaw Funeral Home on Rice Street will be handling the funeral arrangements. There will be a service next Monday. More details about that will be announced tomorrow.